What's up, YouTube? I am back with another video. I am back again. It's your girl Brizzy, and I'm back with a video. I'm Brizzy, nice to meet you. Who are y'all? I hey, 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 the pass it to my y'all. So, today we're doing uh, something a little different. I say this in every single video, it seems that. But we're doing something different today. It's really gonna be like a sit down talk. This is for all my people that suffered from acne suffer from any kind of facial stuff trust me you guys you will get through it you guys will get through it right now i'm coming to you guys there's nothing on my face there's nothing on my face like i have okay it's a dumb, dark marks but i don't have any makeup on my face i just have lip gloss on and earrings i have nothing on my face i promise you my face is not perfect i ain't saying it's perfect but like compared to what it was it's great so basically about a year ago, I purchased some facial brushes. I have a Clarisonic, the little facial cleansing brush. Replacement heads go for about $43, $45 for two. At that time, like, I don't feel like paying $43. Let me see if anybody has it cheaper. Problem number one. Secondly, I, so I went on Wish. That's, I went on Wish. Why would you go on Wish to find this, Brizzy? I don't know, why would you do that? I went on Wish and it popped up Clarisonic replacement head 10 pack for ten dollars. Girl, I was like, girl, ten pack for ten dollars. Who is gonna pass that up? Not me. Not me. I should. So basically, I purchased those. I used them. I used them. I used them. And. Because they, they were regular brushes, so I didn't really think much of it. I just used them. I was using them for about a month. I started to have a bad breakout. September 18, 2017, I had a really bad breakout. Or what I thought was a breakout. I'm like, oh my gosh. You can see in the video, I say, wish my face would stop having a temper tantrum. I was so upset. I felt so bad. At this point, it wasn't as bad as it gets. It just, I just was like... I've been doing the same thing, what's going on, you know? Like, I thought, like, I've been doing the same skincare routine, why is my skin acting up? Didn't realize what I did. Then, four days later, four days later, September 22nd, 2017, four days, the two pictures, you see how bad my face got from that day to this day. Like, do you see, four days did this. Like, do you understand? I was, like during this point in time I was really I'm not even gonna front I was super insecure I'm just like anybody that looks at me is like what the heck is wrong with her face so I'm going through this at this time I did not stop using the brushes because I didn't I just thought my skin was just mad at me you know I didn't stop using the brushes yet 10 11 days go by and then we have this picture this is October 2nd 2017. My face is like basically clear. I have dark marks, I have like marks, but my face is clear. You can't tell that what happened like 11 days ago happened. Like you, you couldn't tell anything. So it was really confusing because I'm like, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just had a breakout, just like I thought I had a breakout. So at that point, that's when I really thought, okay, I'm just having a breakout because it just went away. Then about 20 days later, there's October 24th, 22 days later, October 24th comes, and there's this video, I'm gonna let it play, but this video. So if anybody, my face is real live, broken, out of bed, I was gonna say something very important, but um, never mind, I'll come back later. Like in this video, you can see how bad my face got from 22 days. My face got this bad. I was still using the brushes because I still was like, okay, what's going on? I didn't know, I didn't know. Three days. Three days later, we have these pictures. This was the worst part of what I had. This was the, and this, this was the worst part. This was when I was, I felt the worst about myself. I felt ugly, I felt nasty. I felt like everybody was staring at my, staring at me like what is wrong with that girl? Like I felt, that's how I felt. I just didn't feel good. I just, 
Like, can you imagine, like, your... I'm not even gonna put this on anybody, but, like, it was really bad. And it just was all over my face. Like, it was everywhere. When I first had the breakout, I did go to my old dermatologist. But at that place, I would not recommend them. They, they wanted to get you in and out. That's all they wanted to do. Their main goal was get you in and out. They didn't really, like, I went there, and he's like, yeah, it's just acne breakout. Didn't decide to see if I had bacteria on my face. Then he didn't decide to see anything. So after the 27th, when it got the worst, like the actual worst, I went to the doctor. I, my mom went to, she found me another dermatologist. We went to the new dermatologist, and we went with a clean slate. Completely clean slate. I said I never had acne. I said I never went to a dermatologist before. I said nothing. Like, I, I just told her nothing. Nothing's wrong with me, I don't know. And she, I love this doctor now. I love my new dermatologist, I love them to death. She's like, did you do anything different? No. Yes, I lied, but it got me to the point to where I am now. I went to the my new doc, my doctor, my current doctor now, my, my current dermatologist. Never had acne, that's basically what our story was. That's what we were sticking to. And she's like, okay. She says, this is very odd because if you never had acne, this is really bad. Keep in mind, I'm going to put this picture right here so you can keep this in mind what my face looked like when I came to her. So she's like, okay, so I'm going to take a culture of your face. Culture is basically, that's when they take, like from one of my pimples, this is like, if you don't like pimples and talk about pimples popping, don't listen to this, but just skip forward like five seconds. So one of my pimples, she popped them. She popped the pimple in the correct way, of course. She popped the pimple, took some of the um, with pus inside of it, whatever you want to call it, pus inside of it, put on a Q-tip and put it in like one of the little, um, what is it, one of the little test tubes. And then she also just took a Q-tip and ran it across my face. She sent that off to a lab and they tested it for different bacteria. It's like, okay, so we're going to have the test results back in like a week or so. So we'll call, give you a call. So week goes by, my face isn't doing any better. By this time, when my face got to this point, I stopped using the facial brushes mainly because I was scared that the brushes were gonna irritate my face more because of the pimples. I wasn't, I didn't think that they were the cause of it. I just thought me brushing my face with something like that is just gonna irritate my face even more. I wasn't with my mom when she called my mom. But she called my mom and she's like, she has pseudo, I can't think of what it was, but pseudo, pseudo is basically fake. That's what that means, fake. So I had fake, I can't think of what the bacteria name was, but it was pseudo blankety blank. Basically I had fake acne on my face from a bacteria infection that was given to me from the brushes that I have bought from which The doctor asked me, she said, has she been in a hospital? She asked my mom, has she been in a hospital in a while? Like anything like that? Because most of the time that the, the bacteria that I had had on my face, normally that bacteria comes when you're in a hospital for a very long time because like the doctors are going from room to room. If they don't wash their hands the right way, you can get that bacteria. So they basically cross contaminated my brushes or the brushes or whatever. So She's like, it's not the end of the world because we know how to treat it. That was the best thing I had heard about the whole situation with the bacteria, the whatever. It was the best thing I had ever heard because I'm like, really? You can treat this? You can treat this? You can treat this? <laughs> so she's like, yeah, we just got to give you this medicine. So she gave me, it was like a antibiotic. So I started taking the antibiotic. Remember second I started taking them. I had to take them twice a day, morning and night. One before, one when I ate breakfast, one before bed. And I just had to take them until it was done. So basically the antibiotics were supposed to get rid of the bacteria and then I had to deal with the dark marks and all that stuff that was gonna be left over. I started the actual medicine nine days after starting it. She told me doing the, the antibiotics, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. That's always what's gonna happen. But once it starts to get better, it goes, it gets better like that. So I'm like, I'm ready, I'm ready for it, I'm ready, I'm for it. This is November 11th.
So my face was still bad during this video, as you can see. It wasn't the worst, but it was still bad. And then we have November 17th, which was the last day of my antibiotics. You can see in the video, my face was like pretty clear. I mean, it, it wasn't what it was before. I had some dark marks and all that stuff. I had some stuff on my forehead, but as of what it was before with all the small bumps and the big bumps and the white heads and the black heads and all that stuff, that stuff was gone because the antibiotics had cleared it all out. <sighs> this is a long story, basically. It's a long story. So we had done the cleanse and then I started using another roll of antibiotics that was just basically to get rid of the last to get rid of the rest of the acne that I did have because of course it got rid of the bacteria that was on my face but I still had acne because my face was just like so I had the antibiotics and epidural forte I had antibiotics I took those once a day and basically that just clean, cleaned out the rest of the acne that I did have um, this picture is November 23rd which was about five days after the last picture I showed with these pictures, this line of pictures. My face was bad. It was pretty bad in these pictures. This was, you know, every time, like, just like she said, the antibiotics before it gets better is gonna get worse. This was the worst of the antibiotics. This was the worst. It was really bad. It looked like it did before, but of course it wasn't as bad. Like, before my face was painful. I had ice, I, had, I was rolling ice on my face. Like, it was bad. It was bad. I took more pictures during the the bacteria phase than the actual um, just antibiotic phase for some reason I don't know but then we jump all the way to New Year's Eve so December 31st 2017 video I'm gonna let it play but this is the video of December 31st 2017 this was once all the acne was gone from my bacteria infection all the acne was gone from the like leftover acne and all that stuff all that stuff was gone I just had dark marks so in this video you can see all the dark marks I had, I had them all over my forehead, on my cheeks, on my upper lip. On my I had a dark marks everywhere, so I'm gonna let this play. How do you know I'm You see the difference? Not from right there. Not from right there. And back up. I need a selfie stick. And that's basically all the pictures of, and videos that I have. Now I just have my face now. So this is my face now. So that is the story of having a bacteria infection on your face and not knowing until you just get the right dermatologist. I did this video specifically because somebody might be going through the same thing and not know. And a doctor might try to put you on Accutane like they tried to do me. They might try to like, just tell you you just have bad acne and you don't. Before you exit out of this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe as well as turn on my post notifications so that you actually know when I'm posting a video because otherwise you won't know peace out stay lit and see you guys in the next video